see this bit, I think. Yes. Going back to the, to, to the goons for a moment, um, Harry, um, do you, I mean, everybody's got their idea. I mean, people like me who sort of reared on the goons. We all had our own sort of <clears throat> visions of, yeah. of who the characters were. Um, were they, in fact, real life to you? Did, did you know them all personally? Oh, yes, I think so, definitely. I mean, um, we used to sit around and talk about them, and, and a lot of the characters evolved from real characters. Really? Yes. I mean, Peter, you know, with all the voices he has, he'd come in with something, perhaps some... some uh, car salesman he'd met and he'd have his voice which would develop into somebody else this is in the very beginning i mean and um spike had his funny voices i, I was generally neddy because uh, anything else I, I did still sounded like me you know hello <laughs> 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 hawks one of those laser beam voices yeah, yeah. but uh, I, I think a lot of them were built on on real life characters that peter who provided most of the voices let's face it P peter had, had heard people had seen them and and the most wonderful thing about Peter, when he's doing, doing the show, standing next to him, he'd be blood knock. You know, he'd, he'd, he'd change from being grit pipe thin, doing a sort of George Sanders, to uh, the blood knock, to Henry Crumb. And he actually was them, quite frankly. Yes, oh, we'll probably see him. <laughs> <laughs> you better be careful what you say is coming on in a moment. Oh, I love him. <laughs>